What is up guys, Michael here from Michael Alexander Photography and today we're going to be checking out Magic Automatic 2023. Now Magic is really cool because it can actually really help you speed up your workflow, especially when you're under a big time crunch and you have a lot of photos to get through and you don't have that time to really go into each and every photo and do some skin smoothing. But we do already have some videos on the MVP channel that already showcases a lot of magic automatic skin smoothing capabilities. But today I want to showcase something a little different, something that you might have missed within magic automatics layers. That is really, really cool. And it's also the reason I've chosen this specific image because that little layer definitely lends itself to something like this. So the first thing to note about magic automatic, it is very, very favorable to having a lot of skin in your photos. So an image like this, it is going to love. Also something to note that it doesn't do spot healing. So if you've got any spots and stuff like that, that you want to heal on your subject, I definitely recommend you do that prior to before running the magic, magic automatic. So let's have a look at this image. We're going to analyze it a little bit. As you guys can see, there's a lot going on. There's two people here dangling and um, it's very difficult to see. It was a black background, so you can't really notice uh, too much on, you know, but there are ropes here and ropes there. And there's just a lot of skin, but there's also this fishnet stocking. Now, anybody that knows um, anything about frequency separation, this is going to be an absolute bastard to skin smooth. Now, you don't really need to because it's got that natural texture and it kind of hides away any of the bumps. But I'm going to show you guys a little bit how Magic Automatic is actually going to identify this and then do some skin smoothing. So let's get started. Let's pick an action. So the magic automatic action we're gonna be choosing is semi-auto layers. I'm not gonna say semi-auto layers mask because semi-auto layers mask is just, um, the only difference between the two is that you have a mask that is created and you can brush in the areas that you want to be affected. Now, I'm just gonna trust the action to do that all on itself and I'm gonna run semi-auto layers. Now, when you run semi-auto layers, it's gonna give you a bunch of different options. Now, the first option is gonna be color range and you're gonna select skin tones. Now, you can adjust this by moving the fuzziness up and down and you'll see the selection will change a tad. We're gonna keep it at 20 because I think it actually did a really good job at selecting and we'll just keep it at that. Now, next up is surface blur. Now, for some reason, you just kinda of need to zoom out a little bit and just go and find, I, think this is a little bit too much. So I'm gonna move it down to 20 and then move this down to 10 on the threshold. I, I don't like something that is too uh, noticeable on the skin smoothing department. I do prefer a little bit more of a natural look. So we're gonna go with that. Now next up is gonna pop up this levels tab and this is a contrast saturation. Now it's a very unique process and there has been a video prior to it. So we'll definitely maybe pop it up at the top or link towards it down below in the description. But the way you can do it, you just need to adjust and find it. I quite like to bring it in a little bit and a little bit here as well. Just so it touches these layers, these white layers, I can actually bring this in a little bit more. The reason I like it so much is the fact that it's going to add contrast and a little bit of saturation into some of the shadow areas and it's going to do it in a very unique way. All right, so now we have a completely skin smoothed photo at a click of a button. Now that's something I quickly want to touch on between the two different uh, types of skin smoothing processes that MBP Magic Automatic offers. Now the first one is MBP Magic Automatic. And then secondly, we have MBP Magic Semi Auto. Now the big difference between the two is MBP Magic Automatic um, does all those decisions that you saw me doing in the middle of the processing of the photo with the surface blur, the levels and the median blur. And it makes all those decisions for you. Whereas MVP Magic Semi Auto kind of allows you to make those decisions yourself to kind of work out exactly how much blur you want. Now, something to note is you can definitely batch with both of these. So it's not going to really change your workflow if you need to do a bunch of photos at once. It's just the one allows you to make some choices about how much the skin smooth needs to be applied and the other one doesn't. So let's look at the photo. Now, because this took a while, you might not have noticed, but let's switch it on and off. And there we go. We got some skin smoothing happen. Now, the one thing you'll notice, and this is because of those levels that, that you saw, is that there's some more saturation. But also, one thing to note is when you do skin smooth, you do end up losing a little bit of dimension in your photos. The photos come off a little bit flat. So I do recommend after doing this process, 
you do some dodging and burning just to give some dimension to your photos. But before, after, before, after. Now the biggest parts that you'll notice is in the shadow areas where those saturations definitely came in and on the legs because obviously it's some saturation on the leg and also you'll see the fact that uh, the net stockings also have a little bit of color into them and that will also affect the saturation. But that all said and done, we have a skin smoothed photo at a click of a button. Now this is the part where I wanted to quickly touch on. So anybody that knows anything about skin smoothing and frequency separation, the one thing that's always gonna be your nemesis is any articles of clothing in your way. Now, what Magic Automatic does really well is it seems to identify the different um, contrast zones so that that will be the difference between these net stockings and the skin tones. And it will identify it and not affect it by that much. But that's something that's always been a problem when you do skin smoothing. You need to make sure that you're not uh, affecting these layers. We've added a bit of contrast in it, so it's already got some three-dimensionality. But I want to show you something a little bit cooler. So in the layers of Magic Automatic, you have something called original texture extraction. So we're gonna switch off fake texture noise because if you switch it on off, it just adds a little bit of texture to the skin that you tend to lose when skin smoothing. But what I love about MVP Magic Automatic is that it is the original texture extract. So when I add that, I get the original skin texture back and also it adds the fishnet stockings texture back in. So now we got the original texture back in the skin so let's just look at it once more. So if I switch that off, you noticed her cheek goes a little bit soft. So we can add the fake texture noise mask back in. It's not bad, but I prefer the fact that we can take the original information in the photo and add it back in and we still have a smooth photo. So that's something I really like. And that's something I really wanted to show you guys, especially if you have ever shot anything that has fishnet stockings. So you can still get a really smooth result. So let's switch this on and off. There we go. And now, as you see, it's very difficult to tell. I won't lie, it is difficult to tell because there's a lot of textual noise here. But I can tell in some of the more contrasted areas that smoothening has been applied, especially if you look here where my mouse is, let me make it a hand right over here. That smoothening has been applied. And the fact that I can add the original texture back means we still get some dimensionality out of the fishnet stockings. So that is just something I wanted to show to you guys, something that I think a lot of people are gonna overlook because a lot of people are gonna focus too much on the fact that this is a one click of a button way to do skin smoothing. And I think a lot of people aren't gonna look at the final results. And the fact that you can always bring back the original texture is so vital in a good edit. Because something that happens often in skin smoothing is you get something that just looks completely digitally skin smooth and it looks very unnatural. So to be able to add the original textures back into skins and also stuff like the fishnet stockings is absolutely phenomenal. But that is it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I definitely would love to hear what you guys think about this feature in Magic Automatic in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys think and I'll be answering your comments. So if you have any questions, any you know, comments, definitely leave it down below. I'm Michael Alexander and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.